What do we make of something so large that it stretches beyond the scale of galaxies, something so faint it hides in plain sight, and so alien that not a single textbook can explain its presence? How do we respond when our instruments whisper that the universe is not arranged the way we thought it was, that perhaps the cosmos is weaving structures across distances that mock the boundaries of human imagination? And here's the deeper question. If such a formation truly exists, spanning a million light years, dwarfing even the Milky Way, then what else is out there waiting to be noticed, waiting to shake the foundations of our science? When news broke that Voyager, humanity's farthest and most faithful scout, had stumbled upon evidence of a vast structure stretching across a million light years, the reaction inside the scientific community was not measured curiosity, it was shock. A structure of that scale, so faint yet coherent, was supposed to be impossible. The Milky Way itself is only about 100,000 light-years in diameter. A structure ten times larger is not just big, it is absurd. It challenges the very framework of how galaxies form, how energy travels through intergalactic space, and how matter arranges itself across the cosmic web. The story begins, curiously enough, not in the polished data from computer simulations, but in something more humble, odd signals, faint ripples against the background static of space. Voyager has been listening for decades. Its detectors are tired but still sharp, still capable of registering whispers from the farthest reaches of the cosmos. It was not supposed to find something like this. In fact, when the first traces were noticed, they were dismissed as instrument noise, the kind of technical hiccup that plagues old hardware. Yet patterns began to repeat, alignments began to appear, and before long astronomers were forced to confront the possibility that these were not errors at all, but evidence of a reality too vast to ignore. To appreciate the scale of this mystery, one must recall what a light year really represents. It is not just distance, it is time. Light from our sun takes just over eight minutes to reach Earth. Light from the nearest star takes more than four years. But a million light years? That means we are not simply looking across space. We are peering into a past so ancient that entire galaxies have shifted, merged, or died since that light began its journey. If Voyager has truly uncovered a structure of this size, we are seeing an imprint from an era long before Earth had even cooled enough for oceans to form. The first descriptions of this anomaly came in cautious language. An unexpected circular radio feature. Diffuse emissions inconsistent with galactic activity. That kind of understatement hides the truth. No one knew what they were looking at. Imagine a faint ghostly ring in the dark, so wide that entire clusters of galaxies could fit inside it, yet so delicate that only the most sensitive detectors could trace its edges. Astronomer Anna Kapinska, who once stumbled across such a feature in telescope data, labelled it with three blunt letters. WTF. That sentiment has not changed much since. What Voyager's signals hinted at was eerily similar to what later became known as odd radio circles, or ORCs. These are colossal loops of radio energy discovered less than a decade ago, each spanning up to two million light years. They look like smoke rings drifting through intergalactic space, though what could blow such rings is still a matter of fierce debate. Supernovae are too small. Black hole jets are powerful but don't match the shape. Galaxy mergers might do it, but not on this monstrous scale. And so we arrive at the heart of the puzzle. If the orcs exist, and multiple telescopes have confirmed they do, then Voyager's signals may represent another, perhaps even larger, cousin to these enigmatic structures. But what force can carve circles of energy across distances that make our galaxy look like a speck? What could burn its mark into space in a way that persists for billions of years? Some suggest a cataclysm in the heart of a galaxy, perhaps two supermassive black holes colliding, sending shock waves that ripple through intergalactic gas, igniting electrons into a ring of radio light. Others point to bursts of star formation, so intense and short-lived that they flood their surroundings with winds powerful enough to carve out a bubble. But neither explanation fits perfectly. The scales do not match, the timelines do not add up, and the number of orcs found so far is too few for any neat theory. Voyager's involvement deepens the mystery. This was not a telescope scanning the sky from Earth, but a spacecraft drifting in interstellar space, 
over 20 billion kilometers from home. The signals it caught were not part of its primary mission. They slipped in almost by accident, a faint fingerprint left on the instruments by waves passing through space. The fact that a craft launched in 1977, with hardware less advanced than a modern calculator, could register something of this magnitude is almost poetic. Humanity's oldest messenger may have brushed against one of the universe's newest riddles, and yet we hesitate. Skepticism is the scientist's armour, and many cling to the possibility that what Voyager detected is unrelated to orcs, that it may be an artefact, a coincidence, or an unknown quirk of the interstellar medium. But what if it is not? What if Voyager, in its silent drift beyond the solar system, has revealed that the cosmos is full of structures so large that our maps of the universe are incomplete shadows. This possibility forces us to revisit the scale of existence itself. The Milky Way, vast as it seems, is just a dot inside the local group, which is itself a tiny node on the cosmic web. That web stretches hundreds of millions of light years, a lattice of galaxies bound by gravity and dark matter. But what Voyager's signals suggest is not the neat geometry of the web, but something stranger, rings, shells, bubbles, energy woven into circles as though the universe itself had exhaled smoke into the void. How does one reconcile such an image with physics as we know it? Radio waves do not spontaneously arrange themselves into circles. Energy does not carve out million light-year-wide shells without an engine of unimaginable violence, and if such engines exist, why are their traces so rare? Shouldn't the universe be littered with orcs like ripples across a pond? Why only a handful, barely a dozen at most? The absence is as telling as the presence. For now, Voyager drifts onward, its instruments fading, its signal weakening, but its legacy growing heavier with every new enigma it leaves behind. The million light-year-wide structure is not yet fully mapped, not yet understood, but its shadow has already unsettled cosmology. To admit its existence is to confess that there are forces at work, beyond our models, events on scales that dwarf everything we know, echoes of cosmic acts that may have occurred billions of years ago, yet still sing faintly across the void. And so the question lingers. What has Voyager really found? A relic of galactic violence? A whisper from the birth of the cosmos? Or something we do not yet have the words to describe? Perhaps the answer lies in the next faint signal, the next careful observation, the next moment when a human eye notices a shape that should not be there. But if this discovery is real, then the universe has just revealed that it holds structures so vast they should not exist. The further scientists dig into this anomaly, the stranger it becomes. Voyager's faint detections of diffuse radio structures were puzzling enough but once astronomers began cross-referencing the data with ground-based surveys, especially from instruments like the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder and the Meerkat Array in South Africa, the parallels grew undeniable. Those telescopes had already glimpsed odd radio circles, colossal rings suspended billions of light-years away, each one stretching from hundreds of thousands up to two million light-years across. Voyager's signal did not align perfectly with any previously known orc, but its profile echoed them so strongly that to dismiss the similarity would feel like willful blindness. The problem is not just the size of these structures, it is the precision. A circle, after all, is geometry's simplest perfection. Nature in space tends toward chaos. Galaxies collide in jagged swirls. Nebulae scatter in irregular filaments. Jets from black holes twist in spirals. To carve a circle across a million light-years requires something that acts with balance, symmetry and relentless power. The universe, vast and wild as it is, rarely draws straight lines or perfect arcs. Yet here we are, confronted with circles etched in radio energy across gulfs of space. This is where theories splinter. Some argue that these colossal rings are the echoes of cataclysms so violent they defy imagination. Picture two supermassive black holes, each weighing billions of suns, spiralling toward one another in a final embrace. The collision would ripple space-time itself. 
unleashing gravitational waves and a shock front that could sweep through intergalactic gas, compressing it, igniting electrons, and leaving behind a ghostly shell visible only in radio. If that scenario is correct, then each orc is a cosmic gravestone, marking the death of a galactic titan. Others lean toward a different idea, the starburst hypothesis. In this picture, a galaxy undergoes an explosive period of star formation, birthing millions of suns in a few tens of millions of years. Those stars, fierce and short-lived, burn hot, spewing winds that collide and merge, creating an outward surge like a detonation. Over eons, the shock expands outward, forming a bubble of energized electrons that glows in radio. From our distant vantage point, the edges of that bubble appear as a faint ring. It is elegant, but it requires us to accept starbursts far more extreme than anything we have observed in our local universe. There is also the possibility of active galactic nuclei, galaxies whose central black holes spew jets of plasma thousands of light years long. Seen head on, those jets might overlap, producing a circular outline in radio. But the symmetry of the orcs is suspicious, too perfect to be mere coincidence. And if that explanation held, we would expect to find many more of them than the handful known today. Voyager's case complicates matters further, because its instruments did not catch the sharp outline of a ring, but the faint swell of diffuse emissions, like brushing one's fingertips against a ripple too wide to see in full. Some researchers wonder if what Voyager detected is not a single orc, but a remnant of something larger still, a megastructure that dwarfs even the million light-year scale a kind of intergalactic shock front whose edges are only barely glimpsed. If that is true, then we may be seeing not a circle but a fragment of an unimaginably vast sphere, an expanding shell that makes galaxies look like dust motes inside it. If such a thing exists, then the implications are staggering. What event could unleash energy on such a scale? A chain reaction of black hole mergers? A primordial detonation left over from the first moments after the Big Bang? Or something stranger still? Something that lies outside the known physics of our universe? Theories whisper of dark matter interactions, of vacuum phase transitions, of processes we do not yet have the language to describe. What unsettles researchers most is not just the scale, but the rarity. To date, only a handful of orcs have been catalogued. Voyager's detection may add one more to the list, but why so few? If the forces behind them are natural and frequent, the sky should be crowded with circles. The fact that it is not suggests either that the events are vanishingly rare, or that we are missing them, blind to a pattern our tools cannot yet reveal. It is this uncertainty, whether we are seeing cosmic outliers or the faint tip of a vast hidden population that keeps astronomers awake at night. And then there is the psychological dimension. Humanity has always clung to the belief that the universe, while vast, is ultimately comprehensible. That given enough time, we can reduce every mystery to equations, to mechanisms, to explanations tidy enough to fit in a textbook, but when Voyager, a craft launched in the late 1970s, whispers of structures a million light-years wide, it feels less like progress and more like a reminder of how blind we still are. We sent a messenger into the dark, and it returned not with answers but with riddles. The revelations are not yet finished. Observations from other instruments continue to show that some orcs have galaxies at their centres, as if the galaxy itself birthed the ring. Others appear isolated, empty, as though the structure itself is all that remains. One orc, nicknamed the Cloverleaf, was imaged in multiple wavelengths and revealed gas filaments glowing with oxygen, stretched across hundreds of thousands of light years, evidence of shock waves moving through intergalactic medium at incredible speeds. Another appeared as a pair, two rings nearly touching, hinting at a linked origin. Each discovery deepens the puzzle rather than solving it. Voyager's contribution may prove to be the most important not because it gave us a complete picture, but because it forced us to look. The signals it sent are a nudge, a whisper, reminding us that the universe is stranger than our instruments can yet chart. Perhaps the true value of Voyager's million light-year structure lies not in the structure itself, but in what it symbolizes. The next frontier of discovery, the next leap in our understanding of the cosmos. For now, the verdict remains unsettled. 
The million light year structure should not exist, not under the rules we know. Yet its shadow lingers in the data, a challenge we cannot dismiss. And so the search continues. Scientists will point radio dishes at the void, train satellites on the faint edges of these circles, and run simulations on supercomputers, trying to capture a process that seems almost mythical. The answers may come slowly, but they will come. Until then, we live with the mystery. We live with the knowledge that Voyager, our oldest explorer, has shown us something vast and inexplicable, something that stretches across space like a scar left by forces beyond imagination. It is a reminder that the universe is not a quiet expanse, but a canvas of violence, beauty and phenomena so enormous they bend the limits of our comprehension. And so I leave you with this. What if this million light-year wide structure is not a rare outlier, but a hint of something more, a pattern written across the cosmos waiting for us to notice? What if the universe has been trying to tell us all along that it is larger, stranger, and far more mysterious than we dared to believe? If this story pulled you into the mystery, if it made you feel that shiver of awe at the edge of the unknown, then help us keep unravelling the cosmos. Like, share and subscribe and do not forget to tap that hype icon so together we can push this discovery into a wider audience and make sure more people feel the wonder, the curiosity and yes, the mystery of a universe that still refuses to give up all its secrets.